for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to my training videos on CSS layouts. In this video series, we're going to learn how to create a three-column CSS layout with the top navigation. And you can see here, I have the sample site that we're going to be building. So let's go ahead and take a look at this before we actually dive into the source code. We've got a header area up here at the top, and a top nav that makes two divs. And then we have the central area here with a left bar, a content area, and a right bar. So that makes five divs. And then finally, we have the footer div down here at the bottom, which makes six divs. So we're going to have a header banner div, a top nav div, a left nav div, a content div, a right div, and a footer div. Now you'll probably remember from previous videos that whenever we're working with divs in CSS, you want to wrap as much as your content in wrapper divs as you can. That way you can apply various things to that containing div and have them apply to everything that's inside of that div. For example, we're going to create a wrapper div, and that wrapper div is going to hold our entire site. So instead of having to specify um, the alignment of all of our um, interior divs, we're just going to have to center the one wrapper div, and all the other divs that are contained inside of it will move along with it with that property. And then we're also going to have a second container div for this main area on the screen here. And that, that content wrapper, as I'm going to call it, has the left nav, the main content area, and the right sidebar. So that's basically where we're going in this video. And you can see this is a fixed width layout, not a liquid layout. In uh, another video series, we'll show you how to do two and three column liquid layouts. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize Chrome here, and you're going to see I'm back in Dreamweaver, and here is my HTML document. And here's my CSS document that is attached to my HTML. Now, it doesn't matter whether you start creating the HTML first or whether you write the CSS first. But what I like to do is I like to come into my CSS and at a minimum define what my divs are going to be called. That way the CSS um, cheats that are inside of Dreamweaver coding will come up with the div names for me. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by just opening up a wrapper div here. And again, I'm not putting any styles into this at all. All I'm doing is defining what the div names will be just by creating these empty styles. So I've got wrapper, I've got banner, I've got top nav. And then I'm going to have those um, three divs in the center area inside of a container div. So I'm going to go ahead and call this content wrapper. Remember, you can't have any spaces in your style names, but you can use dashes and underscores. And then the three divs that are going to be inside of, move that down here, the three divs that are going to be inside of the content wrapper are going to be left nav. content, and finally, the right sidebar that I'm just going to call right. And then we have a footer div, and that's all of the divs that I'm going to need to build the document that I'm on. And you can see here I have one, two, three, four, five, six visible divs, and two invisible wrapper divs, the wrapper and the content wrapper. And again, you'll notice I didn't put any styles in here. The only thing I did was define the names. So I'm going to right click up here and do save all, and then go back into the source code. I'm going to click in my body area, and the first div that I want to add is that overall wrapper div. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a div tag, and I'm going to choose the ID attribute and you're going to see that I get a list of all the divs that are defined in the attached CSS. So I'm going to go ahead and select header there. I'm, oops, I didn't want to do header, I wanted to do wrapper. And 
And again, that div is going to contain all the other divs, so I'm going to close it down here right above the body tag. Now the next div that we're going to have is going to be our header div. I'm going to go div ID, and again, I'm going to choose header there. And I'm going to go ahead and close it. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these lines and hit tab just to indent them in a little bit. That way I know what um, they're contained in. And after the header div, we have that top navigation area. Go ahead and close that. And then we had that content area. Now again, remember the content area is wrapped inside of a wrapper div. So I'm going to go ahead and do div ID, and this is the content wrapper. Go ahead and move that down a little bit there. And again, I'm going to go ahead and close it before I put anything inside of it. That way I just know what's going on there. And I'll indent it in a little bit more. Now, there are going to be three divs, as you saw before, inside of that content wrapper. If we look back at our sample, we've got our left nav, our content, and our right sidebar. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a div and ID it oops, as left nav. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up another div and ID it as content. Whoops, very first one. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and open up a div and select the ID. And you're going to go ahead and see that I've got my right div right there. And again, I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Delete an extra line there. And again, just to keep things nice and neat, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all those and indent it in. That way it's obvious that it's inside of the content wrapper. And then finally, we've got a div for the footer. So I'm going to go ahead and do div ID equals footer. And as we've done before, you can go in and put the HTML tags on this if you want. Um, I'm not going to right now. So you'll see I've got all those divs defined. If I go into Design View, you're not going to see anything in Live View because I haven't added any content. That's what we're actually going to do in the next video. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.